Oh, daddy. There's some you should probably know before you get out. Yeah, I told you about Marty Burton, right? How he was some fancy money manager or some Only he was actually laundering money for the Mexican drug cartel. Marty, you make a hundred million and dirty money disappear like spit on a hot skillet. Anyway, his partner was skimming. So the bird family landed in the Ozarks with two suitcases full of cash. Mom, what are we doing here? Your father's laundering money for a Mexican drug cartel. Here with Julia Garner from Ozark. Julia, thanks for joining me. Thank you. Um, this show seemed to surprise a lot of people when it first came out in season one. Were you surprised by all of the great reviews after that first season? Yeah, well, the thing is, I don't I don't like reading reviews, mm -hmm. ever. Um, but from people, like, I've maybe read, like, three reviews mm -hmm. because people were like, oh, read this review. And, like, I had six people text me, six different messages or whatever. So I was like, okay, fine. I, you know, I try not to. I feel like that kind of gets in the way with what I need to do. Um, you know, when I first saw this show, you know, the first thing I thought of was obviously like Breaking Bad, and I feel like a lot of people compare it to Breaking Bad. What do you think about that comparison? I, I think, it, I mean, it's, it's. I think I look at it as a compliment mm -hmm. because it's an incredible show, and the fact that they're comparing it to Breaking Bad is amazing. But I think the characters in Breaking Bad are a, different than the characters in Ozark. So I, I don't think it's... I think it's just, you know, it has the drug thing involved and family, but that's really it. You know, I want to talk about uh, Ruth on the series. I felt like, and, and I think we were talking about this a little bit before, but basically in the first season, I felt like we were really learning more about Ruth, like what is this character? In the second season, we see her full tilt, no apologies. We see more layers to her character, mm -hmm. her relationship with her father. Season two. Yes. yes. Well, season one, we sort of like met her. Season two, right. I feel like this is Ruth. No apologies. This is who I am. We see more layers to her character as well, her relationship with her father. Can you tell me about what the biggest differences are between season one Ruth and season two Ruth? I think season one Ruth, like you said, you're meeting her mm -hmm. and uh, that tough, you know, everyone's like, oh, Ruth is so tough. It's a facade. It's not, re it's, it's real, but it's not really real. It's not really who she is. Um, I mean, she carries a lot of shame and she also in the same time carries a lot of hope. So that kind of makes her get up in the morning mm -hmm. and that's why she works all the time and it's kind of like an escape because she's always hoping for something. Uh, but season two, you definitely see a much more vulnerable side mm -hmm. of Ruth. And, you know, a lot of things make sense the re like why she behaves a certain way uh, and now that her father's more in the picture mm -hmm. of the season it's uh she's definitely trying to adjust her him back in her life like that I find uh, her relationships with like sort of the men on the show the most fascinating you know you have her dad then you have her relationship with like Marty Bird right. um can you sort of uh, tell me a little bit about the differences in the relationship that she sh shares with like both those characters with Marty and with her dad well, you know, she has <laughs> she has daddy issues for sure. Mm -hmm. um, and I think the thing, she loves her dad, but she doesn't like her dad, and there's a difference. And she's always hoping that he's going to change, and he just doesn't. And um, that breaks her, and she's trying to find her identity uh, this season and try to regain herself back. And the thing that I think she loves about Marty is that for the first time, this is someone that really respects her and really listens to her and acknowledges her. Because everybody in her whole family, which are all men, they all just dismiss her in a way. And and Marty really acknowledged and listened to her and, and saw what she is and, and um Yeah. So she but so she feels conflicted because that's not her dad and, and she really shouldn't like him, but she does. And do you think that she sort of, does she look at him almost like a surrogate father? Like their relationship and, you know, when, when you and Jason are on screen together, it just sort of like lights up, you know? Like is there a part of her that almost like wants to be in that sort of Marty world or does she sort of like still being sort of from the trailer park with Marty's guidance? I think the thing that comes in that's kind of like a dad quality about, about it mm -hmm. in a way is that she wants his approval. Mm -hmm. She wants his approval. And when he doesn't approve something, it hurts her bad. And then she starts to attack because, you know, she has a lot of 
shame so she starts blaming and things have to go her way and if it doesn't go her way it's not good <laughs> so um can you tell me about preparing for the role you know like the accent is unlike anything i've ever heard before so what was that like thank you, just you. Watching a lot of, like, <laughs> wow, tapes or, yeah no i did an accent the year before i did a i did a movie called mm -hmm. tomato red a year before with a missouri accent and a year later ozark came and for a month i would just walk around with the accent and um you know, and I would watch a lot of videos of Missouri accents, and luckily we shot in, in Atlanta, so a lot of the crew had, naturally they mm -hmm. had southern accents, um, but yeah, and I just like doing accents, because that's fun. How am I supposed to get this boat to Bagman? That really doesn't concern me. As I told your boss, there's another offer waiting on deck. Then take it. No one's gonna pay a red nickel for a paddle wheeler that doesn't even paddle. Do you think that uh, Ruth is a hero or a villain? Because just when I think I have the answer, I feel like the script changes on me. I think she's a little bit of both. Mm -hmm. I think, um, I think she's just very broken in a way. And, and uh, you know, people always want to they want to root for someone, but they also want them to go down. And then they want to root and go down. So I think she's one of those types of characters. How great is it to sort of play a strong and empowered female, especially in today's TV climate? It's great. <laughs> it's really great. I mean, I, I feel very, very lucky. Uh, but I've always gotten really interesting parts, and I feel very lucky. I've, I, I have really amazing people, uh, like a, a great support that get that get me those parts, so. And I know a lot of Ozark fans, just even in my like friend circle, what can they expect from this season if you sort of had to set it up and preview it for me? It's darker and it's heavier and uh, yeah, I, I think that's the darker and heavier. And there's some funny moments too, I think, from what I can remember, but is there? I, I mean, you saw, I didn't I, see I it saw yet. it all, yes, yes. Def I, I think you nailed it, darker, heavier, with a little bit of funny. Yeah. I like it. Maybe I should write the promo. Yeah, you should write the you should write the promo. They should put you like on the, the PR team. I love it. Julia, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much.